Hey everyone, my name is Mohit. I'm a developer advocate here at Salesforce. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a brand new innovation in Salesforce developer tooling space, Code Builder, available now in Open Beta. With Code Builder, we bring all of the developer tooling innovation that you use and love to the browser. Code Builder is powered by AWS and lets you launch a fully featured IDE within your browser with a single click of a button. That's right, nothing to install on your device or configure anything. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Code Builder and get started. First, we will need a Salesforce environment where we can install Code Builder 2GP Manage Package. For the open beta, we recommend you install Code Builder in a Developer Edition org. If you do not have a Developer Edition org, you can sign up for one free by visiting developer.salesforce.com slash sign up. We have this link also in the video description. To install Code Builder, visit the App Exchange listing named Code Builder Beta. The link for the Code Builder App Exchange listing is shared in the video description. Next, click on Get Now. Log in using your Trailblazer.me account. If you do not have one, you can continue as guest to sign up for a Trailblazer.me account. Let's log in. Next, select the environment you would like to install the package. If you don't find the environment where you would like to install the package, click on More Info link and navigate to the settings page of the trailblazer.me and click on connect button to link your Salesforce account. All right, now let's install this package in the developer environment. Once Code Builder is successfully installed, the very first thing we need to do is assign permission set to the user needing access to the Code Builder. Find the permission set named Code Builder. And then assign this to the user. Now let's navigate to the Code Builder dashboard to create a Code Builder environment. Notice that you can either start from scratch or if you have a project in GitHub, you can import to Code Builder. For this demo, we'll create a project from the scratch. Let's provide the name of the project and select a project template as standard. Next step here is to connect to your Salesforce org. This is the org where you want to do development. In this case, let me connect to a sandbox where I already have some metadata, including custom objects, fields, Apex classes, and LWC. To connect that org, the system prompts you using standard Salesforce login. Now, this allows you to connect the org you're launching Code Builder from or maybe a different R. Like in this case, it's a sandbox that I'm connecting to. So you're always in control of what you want to connect to Code Builder. So let's follow the standard login process for the sandbox I was describing and connect it to Code Builder. As with other apps, you will need to give it permission by clicking Allow. Next, let's add an org alias that helps you quickly identify the org you are connected to. Once the code builder environment is successfully created, click on launch. All right, we see the code builder environment running in the browser. 
Notice that the code builder also comes with a resource panel where you can access various learning resources to learn more. Next, let's use org browser to retrieve metadata. So using the org browser, let me retrieve all the lightning components that are there in my sandbox. All right, now let's open one of the lightning components, a hello world lightning component, and let's make a simple code addition. Now let's deploy these changes to the arc. All right, now once it's successfully deployed, let's log into the R to see if our changes are in. All right, looks like our changes are successfully deployed. We want to hear from you. We built Code Builder to make your development workflows easier. And we want to understand if we are on the right track. If you encounter issues using Code Builder or have any other type of feedback, such as initial impressions or feature request, file an issue in the GitHub repo shared in the video description down below. We'll actively monitor these issues during beta and use your feedback to drive our roadmap to GA. We can't wait to see what you build with Code Builder. Thanks so much for watching.